Hey everybody, welcome back to yet another video. And this video is a little bit different. It's just a one take video of me explaining something to you. And that is going to be how you import and export loot filters. So I think uh, let's start with importing loot filters. One of the easiest ways is that you need to reach your import and loot filter folder you need to get there right so how can you get there? there are a few ways you can do this i'll take you through i think the most easy way which is you just open up this in game right this is your loot filter menu here are all your loot filters you go uh to export loot filter right and then you say open the custom filter location it says this will open the location of your loot filters on your computer this way you don't really have to look for any of this yourself so click on it and then here you are, you can see here all my loot filters. I can enlarge it a little bit. So that is an option you have. If for whatever reason, right, you you don't want to go into the game and go into the loot filter, load your character, go into loot filter and then do all of that, which I could understand, right? There is another way you can get there. However, as you can see, this is behind app data and this is me, this is the user, right? You can't just get here. This folder by default is hidden and most likely on your PC it is hidden. So in order to get there, what you want to be doing is you open up the start menu. Let me close this. Let me get to the actual desktop. You open up your start menu, right? And what you want to be doing and typing is percentage app data percentage, right? You click, uh, you just press enter and this brings you also to the correct folder well almost you need to go one folder back here in app data then you need to go to local low you need to find company 11th hour games last epoch and then here are the filters this is another way you can get to the loot filters if you don't want to do this and the third way if you just open up your explorer but you can also do if you just open up explorer over here you can just type um percentage app data percentage and it brings you to the same folder i'm not exactly sure why it immediately goes to roaming to be honest you don't need to be at roaming you need to be a local low 11th hour games last epoch filters this is the loot filter section and if you get any filter from someone else then um, you need to import them and drag those filters into this folder and they will automatically show up in game and I think they actually show up directly. So if I just copy my UberStrict folder and I say uh, video explaining loot filters, enter, this, show, this should show up as a new loot filter currently, right? So if I go in game, maybe you should open and close loot filter. And uh, if all is well, there it is, right? Video explaining loot filters, which is a copy of one of my Warpath loot filters. So this actually works. It directly updates in game. So you should be able to directly see whatever you import in that filter. This menu reads directly from that folder and that actually works pretty well. Now, let's say you want to export a filter because you're a content creator like me, for example, and you want to share your filters with other people in the community. Now, there are at least two ways to do this, uh, potentially more ways to do this. You could just use the in-game functionality, right? Say export filter and then say uh, copy to clipboard. This will copy the loot filter code to your clipboard. So it doesn't really say anything else if you click it, but right now on the clipboard, the code for the loot filter is there. Now, if I open up uh, Word, for example, and I would paste this thing in Word, you can see that this isn't really a user-friendly code, right? It just generated uh, how many pages? It just generated 31 pages. And somehow it, it's just the entire code of the actual loot filter, which is not amazing, right? That is not amazing. And of course, if you want to uh, import that, you need to go to your loot filter. Once again, shift F. Um, and if you don't select anything over here, you can say import a filter, then you have a few options, right? You can paste the, clip the clipboard contents and then it automatically takes my video explaining loot filters. It gives a bit of a different name, but this is how you would do it. 
but I find it extremely impractical, right? I mean, um, any mess up with like control copy and and and, uh, and like paste and copy and whatever, and this won't work, right? And besides, like, are you gonna paste this in Discord? No, right? You can't. Discord won't allow you a message this long, and a lot of other applications won't allow you a message this long with this many characters in a format that looks like you're hacking something, even though it's just plain XML. This is not great, right? This is not a great way to export a loot filter. So what I try to do, usually speaking, is uh, you just go to the folder, right? In any of the ways I just chose you. So I'll just open up this. And what I just do is I just create, uh, let's say, all my Warpath loot filters, which is a build I'm still working on. And what I just do is I say, well, add to archive, right? Just zip this into a zip file. Uh, it will call it filters. Don't, uh, it will be rar. I can make it zip too. It doesn't really matter. I think you should make it zip if you wanna uh, if you wanna share it in the last epoch forums, which is what I do with my guides, right? So uh, I also would call it maybe not filters, but like uh, warpath loot filters, right? Press OK. I'm not entirely sure why it goes back to my game. And if all is well, here, there we go, right? Warpath loot filters, which is a zip file. And you can do plenty of things with this zip file. For example, you can go to the uh, last epoch community, right? Where you say, well, uh, should be over here. No, over here. Here's the forum, right? And let's say I want to make a new topic on, uh, it doesn't really matter, right? It doesn't really matter what you do over here. And I want to upload my filter. I can just do it over here, right? Upload, choose files. Now yeah, you need to now once again go to over here. But you can do the same trick. App data, percentage app data. Uh, go back one go, one go. Local, 11th hour games, last epoch, filters. And there it is, right? Warpath loot filters. You open this up and, uh, and it, it works, right? Now this is uploaded to my message. And you can use this whenever you do a a guide or something, or whenever something's up with your loot filters, you can share them like this. So that is a way. Uh, you can do the same thing in Discord. Discord doesn't mind zip files either, so that's a good thing. And this is how you can share your loot filters. And then if you want to import them, of course, it is exactly the other way around, right? You go to your filters, you drag whatever you get from either the forums or from something else in here. You might want to uh, unzip it, not in this folder, because I've heard uh, some stories that this doesn't necessarily work. So maybe you want to open up another filter first and say, well, you know, instead, let me uh, get those war filters over here. Uh, yeah, they may be harmful, but they're not. And uh, you extract them over there. Here they are, right? Here are the filters. And only then do you drag them back into the folder. That way you are absolutely sure it will work. I've heard a few uh, issues with people trying to unzip over here or directly uh, paste stuff over here. Apparently it didn't always work. So maybe just to be safe, you want to unzip the folder somewhere else and then drag it into this filter folder. And that is, I think, it. That is all you need to know in order to either successfully import or export filters. I hope this helped, guys, and I hope you liked the video. Subscribe if you uh, liked the video, right? That always helps. And uh, that's it for today, guys. Thanks so much. See you soon. Bye-bye.